Catherine? Yes, Mary. I just got my brand new Cascade Tech TVO vacuum oven. Uh huh. And I gotta say, this Wattlow controller, it's for the birds. <laughs> Well, Mary, I think that we can make it easier. What I want to do is I want to have my oven go to 100 degrees okay. for eight hours. Okay. How the heck do I do that? Easy. Well, let me ask you a question first. Do you want it to go to 100 degrees and then start counting? About eight hours once it's at 100 degrees? Yeah, my process says that my part has to see 100 degrees for eight hours. Okay, that's all we need to know. This is gonna be about a five step profile and we can do it in just a few minutes. Ready? I'm ready. All right. First thing you wanna do is we're gonna start using these buttons right here. This is the infinity key and this is the advanced key. All right, so those are the buttons that you need to know for this setting. What we're gonna do first is press the advance key for three seconds. And that's gonna take us into the profile mode. All right, and there we go. We're in the profile mode and we're on profile one. Now we're in profile one, step one. Okay, green key again. This is where we select the step type. And the first step type that we want to do is called a timed step. So you'll use your arrow keys to scroll through to the time step. Then you press the green button again. Now it's set for 150 here, but you said 100. So we're going to use our up and down arrows to select our set point for the time step. So that's the time set point one. Okay, green key. Now this is not where you select eight hours. This is asking how fast do you want us to get to your set point of 100? As quickly as possible. Okay. But how do I know that? How Bec do I tell that that? If you selected like four hours here, it would try to get to your set point in four hours. But we want to say go as fast as you can. So we're going to say zero hours, green button, zero minutes, green button, one second. Now a vacuum oven will take about three hours to get to 100 and stabilize but we're saying get there as fast as you can. Got it. Okay. So you're kind of tricking the oven and controller a little bit. We're encouraging it to we're go as quickly as possible. Okay. We don't trick, we encourage. Got it. My bad. In all of these steps, your events one and two will always be off. Event okay. one off, event two off. Now we're back to the beginning of that step and we use the infinity key to go back to the profile and to step two. Green key. This step is going to be a wait for process. So we're going to select wait for process. That's the step type. Now what that means is wait for this next thing to happen before you start the timer. And the thing that we want to happen is we want to get close to our set point. Green key. So we're going to wait for process one. That's right. And we're going to say, since your set point is 100, we're going to say, before you start the timer, wait for about 95 degrees. This is going to give the controller a chance to get very close to the set point. But if we say wait for 100 degrees with a vacuum oven, the way it stabilizes so slowly, you could be at 99 for a long, long time. So we're going to say wait for 90 degrees, and when you get there, start the timer for Mary's parts. Okay? So that's the set point. Got it. Green button, EN2, ENT1 and 2 are both off. Infinity key, go to step three. Oopsies. Step three. Green button. Now this step is going to be a soak step. Soak. And what does soak mean? Soak means um, now that you've reached that temperature, soak the parts at that temperature for a certain amount of time. So I want to do that for eight hours. Okay, green key advances through the menus. So we'll select eight hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. These are always off, right? Infinity key up to step four. Yeah, I think that went to five accidentally. Uh-oh. Fast fingers. Uh-oh. So right. See how easy it is to fix that? Okay, green button. Now, step four is a little cascade check helpful hint. Instead of selecting Ooh. end, <laughs> instead of selecting end here, we're going to just tell the oven to run the temperature all the way down. 
that way if some if you were using the oven previously at a higher temperature it's not going to revert back to that temperature it's not going to keep your parts at the hundred degrees but it's going to run all the way down so it's okay. really the best way to end it's your... the best way to end the pro it's okay. just an extra step so we're going to select a timed step just like we did in the beginning a timed step for zero degrees C just run all the way down to the bottom okay now the oven doesn't cool so it'll just go to ambient it won't actually go to zero but it'll go as low as it can and we want it to go as quickly as it can zero hours zero minutes one second those are always off um, and then we go to the next step which would be step five green key and this would be your end step there's three ways to end a profile, green key advances. You can hold, in which case it would hold at 100, it would, well, it would hold at zero. It would hold at zero because of our last step. Otherwise okay. it would have held at 100. Um, you could turn the oven off, which means the whole thing would just turn off. And depending on whether or not you have your pump connected to the oven power, that might mess you up. All right. Before we ran out of memory, we were on step four. I forgot, we ran out of memory? We were, yeah, totally. <laughs> but I got you some more. All right, so we're back and we are on step four. So we just, I just showed you that neat little thing where you can go down to, uh, you can use a time step to go down to zero. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to end. So step five, green recycle button. Oopsies, I did it again. Step five green recycle button and we're going to select end so you just go through all these just so that there's end the end set point uh, green recycle key and remember we're going to select hold because our last step was a time down to ambient so now we're going to say just hold it ambient and you're done okay okay um so we're we're over we set everything so to get back to the menu, we'll just hold the infinity key, we're back to the menu. And just to show that this works, we'll press easy one because that was our profile for easy one. And let's see what happens. Easy one starts and right away we say we're ramping to 100 degrees and we're calling for full power to the heaters. Fantastic. We've achieved go to 100 degrees and soak for eight hours. Thank you so much for your help. Anything I can do.